Associated Equipment Company AEC, was an English vehicle manufacturer that built buses, motorcoaches and trucks from 1912 until 1979. The name Associated Equipment Company was hardly ever used, instead it traded under the AEC and ACLO brands. History Inception The London General Omnibus Company LGOC was founded in 1855 to amalgamate and regulate the horse-drawn omnibus services then operating in London. The company began producing motor omnibuses for its own use in 1909 with the X-Type designed by its chief motor engineer, Frank Searle, at works in Black Horse Lane, Walthamstow. The X-Type was followed by Searle's B-Type design, considered to be one of the first mass-produced commercial vehicles. In 1912, LGOC was taken over by the Underground Group of Companies, which at that time owned most of the London Underground, and extensive tram operations. As part of the reorganisation following the takeover, a separate concern was set up for the bus manufacturing elements, and was named Associated Equipment Company, better known as AEC. AEC's first commercial vehicle was a lorry based on the X type bus chassis. With the outbreak of World War I in 1914, AEC's ability to produce large numbers of vehicles using assembly line methods became important in supplying the increasing need for army lorries. AEC began large-scale production of the three-ton Y-type lorry, commenced in 1916, and continued beyond the end of the war. From then on, AEC became associated with both lorries and buses. Topic. Interwar years In 1926, AEC and Daimler formed the associated Daimler Company, which was dissolved two years later. In 1927, AEC moved its manufacturing from Walthamstow to a new plant at Southall. G. J. Rackham was appointed chief engineer and designer in 1928. He had previously worked for Leyland Motors. His ideas contributed significantly to AEC's reputation for quality and reliability. From 1929, AEC produced new models. The names of lorries began with M, Majestic, Mammoth, Mercury, and so on, and those of buses began with R, Regent, Regal, Renown, and so on. These original M models continued in production until the end of World War II. AEC introduced diesel engines across the range in the mid-1930s. From 1931 to 1938, AEC and English Electric co-produced trolleybuses. AEC supplied the chassis, and English Electric the electric motors and control equipment. In 1932, AEC took a controlling interest in the British subsidiary of the American four-wheel drive forward company, and began to use more standard AEC components in those vehicles. To avoid confusion, these were marketed under the name Hardy. Production ceased about 1936. Topic: <laughs> World War II. Non-military production stopped in 1941, from then until 1944 AEC produced nearly 10,000 vehicles for the war effort road transport archives during the war, AEC produced their 10-ton 4x4 Matador artillery tractor, an adaptation of their commercial 4x2 Matador lorry that exploited AEC's experience with the Hardy Forward Venture. A 6x6 version was designated as the AEC Marshall but almost always called the Matador. To this they added the AEC Armored Car in 1941. Other uses of the Matador chassis were the Deacon self-propelled anti-tank gun vehicle, used briefly in North Africa, and the AEC Armored Command vehicle, popularly known as the Dorchester. Topic. 
Post-war In 1946 AEC and Leyland Motors formed British United Traction as a joint venture to manufacture trolleybuses and traction equipment for diesel railcars since reduced demand would not require the existing capacity of both parents. In 1946 AEC resumed civilian production with the 0661, 20 Regent II and the 0662, 20 Regal I. These were not new models but a recommencement of the most basic AEC 1939 specification bus models. The single decker was going to be marketed as Regal II until somebody at Southall remembered the 1936-8 lightweight 0862 model of that name and as a result the name was corrected after the launch publicity had been printed. At the end of 1946 the post-war 0961 RT was in build and by 1948 Mammoth Major, Matador and Monarch MKIIIs were in production, followed by the Provincial Regent 3 and the Regal 3. Also in 1948 AEC acquired Crossley Motors and the Maudsley Motor Company and on 1 October 1948 AEC set up Associated Commercial Vehicles ACV as the holding company for the newly acquired businesses and its own manufacturing firm, which was renamed AEC Limited. The initials AEC remained on its vehicles, with the exception of some badge-engineered versions, such as the Crossley Regent Bus. In 1949 ACV acquired the bus coachbuilding company Park Royal Vehicles, along with its subsidiary Charles H. Rowe. Park Royal designed a new cab for the AEC Mercury in the mid-1950s, which appeared on all models across the range about this time. In 1961 ACV acquired Thornycroft. The Thornycroft name disappeared from all the vehicles except the specialist airport crash tenders, such as the Nubian, and the Antar off-road tractor unit. Production of he AEC dump truck was transferred to Basingstoke, and the Thornycroft 6-speed constant mesh gearbox and later 9 and 10-speed range change versions were fitted to AEC, Albion and Leyland buses and lorries. The AEC engines were used in Finnish Vanager lorries and buses in the 1960s. Topic: <laughs> Leyland takeover. Leyland Motors acquired ACV in 1962. AEC lorries were given the same ergomatic cabs used across several Leyland Marques, including Albion. In 1968, all AEC double-decker buses ceased production with the completion of the last Routemasters, and its last buses, motorcoaches and lorries were built in 1979. The AEC name actually disappeared from commercial vehicles in 1977, but the Leyland Marathon was built at the Southall plant until British Leyland closed it in 1979. In 1979, the production of Leyland AEC vehicles was transferred to Volvo as a result of an acquisition by Volvo. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign operations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> ACLO ACLO, supposed to be the acronym of Associated Company Lorries and Omnibuses, was the brand name used by AEC in Latin American countries, including Brazil and in Spain, except Portugal, to sell all their products. It seems that there was no clear reason for this badge engineering operation, although a formal request from the German AEG Industrial Group, which was very active in the Spanish-speaking countries, has been suggested. This is quite likely as the AEC 422 NS type exported to BVOAG Berlin was also badged ACLO. ACLOs were specially pervasive in Argentina, Uruguay and Brazil. Particularly in Uruguay, there were two ACLO fleets. They were interesting buses, quite faster than Leyland Tiger in use by other fleets. It was said at the time early 60s that the main reason was into urban gearing instead of purely urban gearing present in Leylands. 
An interesting feature was preselector gear change, similar to those in Leyland buses, commanded by a smallish gated lever installed by the steering wheel, with a reversed gate, with first gear to the right and up, and fourth gear to the bottom and left. In Spain, ACLOs could be seen mainly as double-deck buses in Barcelona, and as line coaches in Alsa Fleet. UTICAEC In Portugal, the AEC vehicles, mainly coaches and buses but also lorries, were assembled and bodied by UTIC, a large coachbuilding firm based in Lisbon, and marketed under the UTICAEC badge, for many years. From 1971 to 73 the Loughborough-based dealer Mosley imported nine UTIC U2043 coaches which were marketed as the Mosley Continental Targus. They were mechanically equivalent to a rear-engined Reliance or a coach version of the Swift 691 which AEC had planned but never marketed. They were expensive to buy new and the square-sided styling looked dated to British eyes in the age of the elite and dominant coaches, thus they were slow selling. These were probably the only right-hand drive coaches built by UTIC. At the time Mosley also marketed Salvador Caetano coaches under its own name. Barreros <laughs> AEC. <laughs> In the late 1950s, Spanish government restrictions on imports reduced AEC sales in Spain to virtually nil. As a consequence, AEC approached a Spanish truck manufacturer, Barreros Diesel, to jointly produce buses and coaches based on AEC designs. The venture started in 1961, used Barreros AEC as brand name, disregarding ACLO, and seemed very promising, production of the AEC off-road dump trucks being planned to. Nevertheless, the Leyland takeover in 1962 soon undermined the agreement, as Leyland was partnering with Barreros's Spanish arch-rival, Pegaso, and eventually Barreros looked for another collaborator in the bus arena, signing in 1967 an agreement with Belgian company Van Hool. Vehicles <laughs> 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 Topic Buses Topic Lorries and other commercial vehicles Majestic the six ton normal control AEC Majestic model six hundred and sixty six was introduced in nineteen thirty. Mammoth the AEC Mammoth dates from the nineteen thirties. This was a 7 8 ton lorry with a six-cylinder overhead valve engine developing 110 bhp 82 kilowatts on a wheelbase of 16 feet 7 in. Later a distinction was made between the Mammoth Minor 6x2, with two front axles, the Mammoth Major 6 6x4, and the Mammoth Major 8 8x2 or 8x4, which appeared in 1934. The Mammoth Major MK2 was introduced in 1935, the eight-wheeler could carry 15-ton loads. It remained in production until 1948 when it was superseded by the MK3, which was mechanically similar, but had the Park Royal cab. Mammoth Minor, GXF 70 HVD 318 D Mammoth Major 6, Mammoth Major 8, Mandative AEC Mandator dates from the 1930s. The post-war MK2 was available as a lorry and a tractor unit and the name was used for tractor units built from the 1950s to the 1970s. Marshall Prey War 6x4 3-ton lorry There was a military version with various body styles some were employed by the Royal Air Force as cranes using the Coles crane see also, Matador 1960s to 70s. Matador's original AEC Matador 5-ton 4x2 commercial lorry was introduced in 1932. The name was most famously used for AEC's 4x4 Matador artillery tractor, which were known by the nickname Mat. 
These vehicles exploited AEC's experience with four-wheel drive that it had gained from its involvement in the British four-wheel drive vehicles marketed under the name Hardy. The Matador name is very often used for the 6x6 military vehicles that are more properly designated the 0854. These were an extended Matador chassis, mated to a Marshall double-drive bogey AEC produced 9,620 artillery tractors, 514 6x6 Bowsers for the Royal Air Force, 192 6x6 lorries some of which had Coles cranes mounted, and 185 similar vehicles, but 6x4, for mobile oxygen plants. Many military matadors were adapted for post-war commercial use, especially as timber lorries and recovery vehicles. There was a short run of the 0853-4 extension 4 matador in the early 50s, due to ongoing issues with the introduction of the replacement Leyland. New civilian matadors appeared after the war. Mercury the AEC Mercury model 440 was first built in 1928. This was a forward control lorry with a wheelbase of 14 feet 4 .3 meters for four-ton payloads. The model 640 was introduced in 1930, with a four-cylinder petrol engine developing 65 bhp. The name was resurrected for lorries built from the 1950s to the 1970s. Militant the AEC Militant, or Millie, was the 1952 replacement for the Matador, and continued in various forms until the 1970s. The original Militant had been produced by Maudsley in the 1930s. Mogul the AEC Mogul was a normal control tractor unit from the 1960s. The name had originally been used on Maudsley lorries. Monarch The original AEC Monarch was built from 1931 to 1939 at AEC's Southall Works. The first version model 641 was superseded by the MK2 model 637 in 1933, with payload increased to 7.5 tons. The Monarch was fitted with either an 85 horsepower 63 kilowatts four-cylinder 5.1 liter diesel engine or an 80 horsepower four-cylinder 5.1 liter petrol engine. This was a robust and well-designed lorry, popular with both drivers and operators. Later variants continued into the 1970s. TL 3513 1934, Kai 402 1949. The Monarch name was resurrected for export versions of the Mercury built from the 1950s to the 1970s. Mustang 1950s Model 201 Model 428 Model 501 and 506 Model 701 Y Type X first purpose built commercial vehicle was introduced in 1916. The improved Yar Type appeared in 1917. More than 10,000 of these vehicles were supplied to the War Department by 1919. Many of these were acquired by civilian operators following the war. YB and YC types continued in production until 1921. Roadtrain The AEC Roadtrain was an experimental early 1930s roadtrain. <laughs> <laughs> Railcar engines Centenary celebrations 2012 was the centenary of the founding of AEC Limited, and to mark this, a number of events took place throughout the year. By far the biggest was hosted by the AEC Society, and was held over the weekend of 26 and 27 May 2012 at Newark Showground in Nottinghamshire. It was the biggest ever gathering of AECs, and over 225 AEC vehicles attended as well as over 350 vehicles of other Marques. It was the biggest rally ever held by the AEC Society and as well as glorious weather all weekend, was closed by a BBMF flypast. <laughs> 